There are few safe harbors in this world, few beacons to guide folks to them. Block Islanders say they are lucky. They've got one on a hill and one that wears a hat. For 83 years, Fred Benson has fished with them, built their boats, fixed their cars, coached their kids. He's been police commissioner and captain of the rescue squad, island auctioneer and undertaker, volunteer fireman, and president of the Chamber of Commerce five times. Watch cars going by you. Today, he's conducting a state driver's license test. Fred Benson is 91. Stop right alongside of this next pole, this side of it. He arrived on Block Island in the fall of 1903, an orphan who came to help Gerd Milliken tend his 20-acre farm. Fred still lives there. You turn the pages and I'll tell him, huh? Five generations of Milliken kids have grown up around him. Is that the one? Benson never married, but he has anchored his life to the children of this island. My mother put me in the home when I was four years old. I never knew my father or mother. And uh, so I, I don't have a family. At 55, he went back and finished high school so he could join its faculty. He taught boys to build homes. First ones we learned as we went. Denny Hines now has his own construction company. He's special. He's special to everybody. You want to pop, huh? His lessons have not ended. Thank you very much. A few years back, Fred won the Rhode Island State Lottery. $50,000. He tossed the biggest party anyone can remember, then used the rest of the money to start a scholarship fund to send Block Island kids to college. He still climbs to the room Gerd Milliken gave him 83 years ago. Now that's the only home he knew, so he sticks in the same old room. The family has offered to move him downstairs. No heat in his room. The chimney goes through, but there's no heat. That's the way he wants it. His little place lies just beyond Gerd's old bedroom. I wish he knew how I turned out. I wish he knew that I lived up to what he expected of me. Maybe more, but some of it anyway. Fred Benson found Safe Harbor and showed others the way. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Block Island, Rhode Island.